The Kentucky Baptist Collegiate Ministry, formerly known as Baptist Student Union or BSU, um, is a ministry that seeks to make an impact for Jesus Christ and develop leaders for the future generation of the church. And we seek to do this in a variety of ways. Primarily, we do this through discipleship, evangelism, and missions, with a heavy emphasis on leadership development. Many times these students end up in our churches as pastors, as staff members, as committed lay people, and many times on the mission field as missionaries because someone was there at a critical point in their life to remind them that God, yes, is forgiving, but He also has called them to a higher plane of what it means to live life and to be on mission with Jesus Christ. While I was in college, specifically, I got involved with the Baptist Student Union and was just thrilled with the experience and the opportunity for summer missions and kind of seeing how what God had instilled in my life worked so well within the context of collegiate work. But I felt this incredible sense of, oh, I can't do that, that's not missions. I mean, I'm called to missions. This is what I've got to do. This is my responsibility. And yet, I couldn't think of anything I could love more than being part of the college campus. So I went to my campus minister, who was Dale Adkins, and he was the full-time campus minister at Eastern when I was a student there. And I just poured my heart out to Dale that, what was I going to do? You know, I had this call in my life to missions, but I really wanted to do campus ministry. And he very patiently and kindly said, what do you think what I do is? This is missions. Can you imagine a richer mission field than a college campus that brings people from all over the planet into one setting? Our campus ministers in particular are always looking for ways to help students discover their individual gifts and abilities and how they live that out in a practical way, not just on a special designated mission trip in the summer or spring break, but how do we make this a lifestyle of mission or being on mission. As far as like campus, like we want to get really involved on campus to share the love of Christ with people on campus, and we can't do that from inside those walls. If we're just stuck there, nobody's going to come in, so it's kind of like we have to go out. They are getting together this event to build house frames for the Hurricane Katrina to victims, so we are going to put them together and they're going to ship them down there so then they can build the houses. You know, he said, you know, bring my name to the nation. So like, you know, it's us like, yeah, we might not be there affected by it, but we care enough that we're going to help you if we can, whatever we can do up here and send down what we can, you know, to you guys. Our campus ministers are strategically placed on what I think is the most exciting mission field in the world, and of course I'm biased, but the potential for change that is represented by a young life that goes off to the university with all of these hopes and dreams of what can be, the truth is many times uh, they find their life uh, sort of disintegrating around them in many instances, and the baggage that they bring with them to the university campus, uh, they're confused, frankly. When they really receive the good news of Jesus Christ, many times it can has a radical effect on their life. It's definitely made me aware that I could choose as a person to say yes to God and allow God to, you know, grace me so I could grace other people with my life. I know that I'm forever grateful to just a little bit of the cooperative program that I can see every day because people were willing to give and because people had a vision that is the way that God chose to allow me to experience grace. I've been asked lots of times why it's worth it to um, continue doing what I do. And there are thousands of reasons and a lot of them I could name personally because they're people. And that makes it very worth it that, as I said, um, my work is a lifestyle. So in a lot of ways it's pretty consuming, but it never takes more than it gives in my life. I think that's the analogy that I would draw with the cooperative program, that for the monies that the cooperative program takes from the local church budget, as the church chooses, 
It never takes more than it gives. There's always so much more that can be accomplished, and it speaks so well to what Christ just cried out for us to understand in John 17 about unity. He so sought that above all other things we would be unified. And I think that's a crucial understanding that even though cooperative program may sound old school, um, the whole idea of working together, of pooling our resources, and recognizing that it is through that kind of unity that we really reach the world. God bless you, Kentucky Baptists. You are making God's mission on Kentucky's college and university campuses possible.